Hello, trading has closed on Tuesday, uh, September 21st, 2021. Our disclaimer is what you've all been waiting for. Let's get right to it. It's my plan for tomorrow, Wednesday, September 22, 2021. Pretty volatile. It's a pretty volatile market right now. I can be completely wrong. And Remember that in any trade you take should be at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early low. This is it. And tomorrow has um, the early low as well. So the commonest thing was a gap and prompt move outside the day's range. You have to look at futures, not the cash. And if you look at futures, you'll see we did gap and promptly move outside yesterday's range. This is some what we said. We said if we gapped under the low, we could have one of the biggest drops ever, but we didn't gap under the low. Had the gap and prompt move outside the range. During the day, MJT said ultimately higher prices would print. We dropped, but ultimately we did get the higher prices. Afternoon gave sell signal out and end an ultimate sell signal that worked. But optionally, there was a higher target that we trade over this line, and we did. So those things have all played out. This is a pattern that's normally a bullish pattern. Have your early low, late high. When the late high can't clear these highs, that's negative, but time doesn't run out till early tomorrow morning. And if we gap up tomorrow, overtake this high promptly, all the negativity goes away. I don't know how we'll open tomorrow where futures are down, but I think the chances we'll get such a gap up are pretty good. So far, this is measured from the close on Friday to yesterday's low, which is the standard. Fibonacci pullback, we dropped from the first hour of trading, couldn't undercut prior lows. Uh, someone told me that Larry Williams, who's a well-known trader, has a rule that when you have a tank like this and the following day is an inside day, that just about always you're going to move up. It's a failure of follow through of the drop. Now, I haven't been following that for too long, but for the brief period of time I have looked at it, it, it seems to be a reasonable um, reasonable system. So based on those things, we need to gap up, take this out fast, or else we see lower prices. But I think there's a reasonable chance that that's what's going to happen. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low, it could gap up. Today's normally bullish pattern didn't close near its high. Unless we gap and promptly overtake the high, lower prices should be seen tomorrow, even if we don't close lower. Number of factors make it plausible we get the gap up. We have a VIX, Bollinger Band reversal signal. We have a day-long drop that couldn't close under midday's lows. Yesterday's tank was followed by an inside day. There's also an excess of put buying in relation to call buying. Didn't write that down. The FOMC announcement tomorrow typically leads to wild swings. I just can't predict them. I'm almost always flat going into it and shortly over it. Some people can call this. I don't risk my money when it's a wild swing day. Futures are down as I record this, but the odds nonetheless favor gapping up. Call goes against my belief we're on the verge of a major drop. For that reason, even though I think that's what's going to happen, I'm personally not going to risk any money on it. Tomorrow has the early low. I'd like to see us gap up here. Uh, the afternoon features the FOMC announcement with trading that's too wild for me to make a call. And uh, that's today's call.